Hi guys, Roger Snipes here. Today, I'd like to talk about your microbiome. So what is your microbiome? Basically, it's your gut. Say what? The microbiome is the bacteria that lives inside your body. Your gut's main responsibility is to take care of you. Now, I've, I've been interested in the microbiome for probably about six months now. I've been listening to lots of podcasts, read lots of books, seen lots of peer review studies by scientists, universities. There seems to be some real synchronizing information given by lots of people who talk about the gut bacteria. One thing I've learned is we are not who we think we are. We are actually in control by the bacteria that lives within us. Now, if we were to be studied under a DNA test, it would show that we are mainly bacteria over human DNA. One interesting thing is that the bacteria which lives within us were actually roaming the earth before we even existed as human beings. And we are in fact the hosts <laughs> For the bacteria, 1% of our gene expression is human genes and the rest is the microbiome. Now, let that settle in for a second. Now, if that is the case, then that pretty much means that we are not really in control of our health as we may think we are. But although we have the ability to talk, to move. If our microbiome decided that this wasn't a good place to live, then we would die. How do we take care of it? How do we take care of this bacteria, which is pretty much in control of helping us live? Its purpose is to uh, destroy any foreign bacteria that enters in our body it also controls the way we feel, so our hormones. It helps to pr protect us against disease. Um, it helps to uh, build our immune system. It helps to digest food. Um, also helps to uh, absorb vitamins. Ancestrally, we're talking like thousands and thousands of years ago, we <laughs> never had sanitizers to uh, wash our hands with, uh, we wasn't steaming vegetables or anything like that. Many foods were eaten raw and they had a lot of bacteria. And this uh, symbiosis which we have with our gut bacteria is what has helped us over the years to build a stronger immunity against disease and sickness. And we've developed to have over 40 trillion bacteria cells in our body which is quite a lot. We have thousands of species of bacteria which play a different role in our body to help to keep us healthy. So evidence suggests that we first started to build our immunity uh, in the womb of the mother and through vaginal delivery and also through consuming breast milk as a child. Now, if you didn't have these things, like if you had a C-section delivery and you didn't have breast milk, then it would have meant your immunity would have been a bit weaker as a start. One thing to bear in mind is in order to make your microbiome thrive and to take care of you and for you to live a longer life, a disease-free and sickness-free, you need to feed the bacteria the right things. The thing we have today, or the issue we have today, is a lot of the food which we have is stripped of vital nutrients which we need so that our microbiome is actually being fed to take care of us. So it's stripped of the nutrition and that is what is causing lots of premature deaths and also sickness. One thing to think about is what are you not just feeding yourself, but what are you feeding your bacteria? As I said before, the best thing to do is to keep away lots of food which doesn't really <laughs> deserve a place in your body. 
Things like uh, artificial food coloring, synthetic sweeteners, hydrogenated fats, even foods which try to cover it up with another label and say, this is vegan. But then they've also got lots of processed ingredients in there. Corn oils or the list goes on. Foods which have been too much in the process of being man-made, where they spent too much time in a factory. So foods which you need to incorporate in your diet to more assist with your healthy gut bacteria are fermented foods like sauerkraut, apple cider vinegar, kimchi, kombucha. The more variations or fermented foods you eat, uh, the more healthy bacteria you'll have in your body, which would be very useful for you in giving you a strong immune system. Another thing which can affect your gut bacteria that you have in your body is taking certain drugs. I wouldn't be able to name them all, but um, there is an author of a book, a Stephen R. Gundry, and his book is The Longevity Paradox. And he calls the gut, <laughs> the gut bacteria gut buddies. So he sees it as these are your buddies and it's important for you to take care of them because they'll take care of you. And one reference he makes in this book is saying that people who take antibiotics, sometimes you can't help but take it and it can possibly save your life. Uh, but when you take antibiotics, it's like having uh, like an atomic bomb or a nuke bomb in your body and it wipes out everything. So it kills the sickness, but then it also kills your gut buddies, which are there to protect you. So it's very important to think about what are you putting in your body? Are you actually helping your bacteria thrive or are you killing them off? Recently, I done a microbiome test by a company called Viome. So this is the uh, test kit here, Viome. So basically they test your microbiome and let you know exactly how you are doing health wise. Microbiome test, you can know whether your body is digesting the foods that you want to digest or is there a deficiency in your body right now. You can find out whether you have any, if you are prone to certain diseases because you're not being protected and what you can do to try and fix that. Everybody's unique. Everybody's gut biome is different. So if you want to know where you stand on a gut bacteria standpoint, this is the way forward. Have a gut bacteria test. So as it stands right now, I'm just waiting for my test to come back to see how I'm doing. I'm making similar mistakes to many other people and I'm trying to do the right thing, but the only way forward to know if I'm doing the right thing and where I stand <laughs> is to have the test done. So if you haven't had a gut bacteria test done, then why not just have it done? So that company, as I mentioned, is called Viome. When my test comes back, <laughs> I'll let you know how I'm doing and um, Give you guys the ins and outs as to what I will be doing to help to improve my health.